okay in this video we will create our first Vue.js application so first we need to include the Vue.js so we need to do this in the head section so I'm going to do this using the script and I'm going to load this using the CDN so it's a unpackage.com slash view at 3 you can also include the view 2 but I'm going to do this using the view 3 because it's contain the view js 2 and 3 so I'm going to cover the both one so we have included our view js library and now we need to initialize it in our uh, in our DOM right so first we need a DOM element so I'm going to create an ID here something like this and now I'm going to initialize the uh, view JS using this script tag so here I'm going to do this using the view dot create app and inside that app I'm going to mount this with my this uh, app id so i'm going to mention this app right something like this and here i'm going to uh, mention the data property okay i'll explain that in a minute and then this accept the accept as object so i'm going to create an object and passing a property of message message is uh, welcome to the Vue.js Vue.js okay something like this and then i'm going to print this uh, variable inside my html using this mustache sign and then i'm going to print this message something like this right and if i go here to my web browser and i'm going to give it a refresh so you can see this it's printing welcome to the Vue.js so it means that our Vue.js is working fine so very first thing is we did here is included this Vue.js library so if you want to make sure your URL is correct just paste this out and hit enter so it will load the Vue.js library okay and then we initialize the ID where our Vue.js application will get start and then we are printing this message is coming through this script so here what we did is we call this view which is coming through this cdn it's a Vue.js library you can also include the Vue.js file too it's up to you and then i'm calling the create app which is creating our Vue.js application which contain our data property and data property contain our return object and uh, then this contain a message property or a message variable right and we are mounting this to this app which we initialize it here right okay this one is our Vue.js structure a pretty basic we have started to, from a index file and then we initialize our Vue.js right so what we are doing we are creating the app so what is this data so this one will hold your all of the reactive properties so you can consider this this is a box which will handle your all of the variables and then why we added this return property uh, or return object sorry it's a return uh, it's an object so why we are including this return object uh, because this data accept uh, the object so that's why we are using this uh, return object here and then this return contain our all of the uh, variables and we are now accessing this variables here right so this is the overall structure of this Vue.js application